Okay, so uh, so my thing was a little bit off, so I have to re remove this H2 and strain it out because we do one side first. Let's, let's do this side first. It's because with the windshield here, you can't put the mirror on because the mirror, the stem will hit here when you're trying to screw it on. Right, you, you see, if you saw the last, last part of the previous video. So I have to, uh, have to put, put those on first, like so. I think I could, uh, So right now there's no tension on on the bolts here and these these two brackets are actually sitting wider than than the the mounting hole it looks like it's sitting about four or five millimeters wider so if i have it in right this thing will actually squeeze a little bit um yeah it'll squeeze a little bit so there is you know there is some compression inwards a little bit uh, which is not 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 ideal but you know, what, what could you do, right? Let's see. I think I might have to do like a double, a double. Because then when, what I can't screw this once it gets down and it comes here and it hits this corner right here. So I might have to do this where I'm like so. That. And when I screw this down, you know, righty, the right turn, because this part right here is a right hand to tighten. This one here is a left hand, so basically I could keep it like so, and oops, and spin it like this, and it, it will actually tighten on both sides. <laughs> While this one goes down, this one also goes down as well. Is that enough? That's the question. So I might have to. Yeah, that's not enough. Okay, I might have to t take these two screens off then. I have to take out these two screens and put this down, then put these back on, and not tighten this this nut yet. Okay, well, you don't know until you try. Oh, actually, you know what? The 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 manual shows that. I, mean, I don't read Japanese, but I'm I'm looking at the picture right now. I'm looking at back at the picture, and it actually shows it. It shows it that you actually supposed to put the mirrors on first. So, so it's good that I guess I do that and waste my time. So that way you you catch it. And uh, well, you see it, I should say, you see it, and you won't have to waste your time. Well, I guess you waste your time by watching me, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Nice to be able to get a ratcheting wrench on here, but I don't have a ratcheting Allen that's um, that's three millimeters. The smallest one I have is a four millimeter, so unfortunately, so hang on to your windshield so it doesn't drop and get scratched up and doesn't scratch the body, plastic body.
Okay. Got a scotch bottle right here. Maybe I did, maybe I did. It might be a good idea to put some tape right here too. Like some painter's tape or something. Just in case. Okay, back to tying this bad boy down here. That's in already, so I need to get this one down. Oh, it's, oh, it's just only one more turn. Look at that. I only need one more turn. That would have been good. On that side. This side, on the other hand. Good there. Let's check this one. That's good there. I'm using this thing half a turn. Or well, quarter turn, excuse me. Quarter turn. Same thing with this side. Using this thing quarter turn. Like so. Okay, now it should be good. See if I could put. Let's see if I could put this thing right here. This down right down here. Just to prevent the scratching from from the from my plastic. side here. The neighbors are cleaning house. I hear them moving, moving things around out, out in the backyard. Okay. Let's bring this, screw it in until the 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 the, uh, the nut, or the, excuse me, the bolt comes out to the out on the nut side. I would, I'm gonna put it so that way it's pretty much flush or just past flush. So that way I know that all the teeth, all the teeth of the bolt is, is engaged with the teeth of the nut. But I don't want to go beyond that because this rubber piece here gets too crushed and you can actually wear it out like that. You know, wear it out prematurely. Especially with the sun and everything. You know, with the UV, UV light, you know, that'll definitely wear it out prematurely. You have all that extra pressure on it.
just past flush. That right there is good. So again, these rubber nuts, you do not want to crank it down because it will it'll damage the rubber. You just want to just enough the mushrooms out to hold the bolt. Uh, I have it so that way the, the bolt is just past the nuts thread. So I know that I have all the teeth engagement. Um, okay. Like so. Alright, so uh, all I need to do is crank these down. And I actually need to sit down in, in, a, in a cockpit and see. So the camera is actually sitting in the cockpit right now. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that off screen. But just so you guys see what it looks like. So, so it doesn't look bad at all. It's pretty good. It's pretty uh, pretty sleek, I think. So again, with this thing, the the, uh, the manufacturer says, "Watch out wh where you park it, because this screen in here could could act." Kind of like a uh, magnifying glass, and concentrate the sunlight on your dash here, and it could actually like melt your your dash here, and it could damage it. So be mindful of that. I've never seen that before. Well, here's the one here. That's a little picture right there. You guys can see that. See that? And it's like blah blah blah. It reflects into there, and it causes damage on there. So it says be careful. Warning. Right? It says that on the uh, manual here too. Let's see. No, not that one. Not this one there. This one? Yeah, this one right here. Same thing right there. See that? Watch out that it, it will, you know, it glares in there. It could damage, concentrate the, uh, the sunlight on, on here and, and, and it damages this, you know, it melts this, your dash here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off screen because I need to position it so I can see out of it. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.